Welcome back. I'm back on the Chromebook and I want to look at an option of referencing within Google Docs. Now you're kind of limited with that because it has to be cloud based referencing system. Possible to do with Sorterra really with Mendeley. The only options you really got is to use RefWorks, which you normally get free with your studies, but not always. Not all unis or colleges implement that. But you've got another option that's built into it that works quite well as well. So I'm going to show you the Google Docs option. So come down to the bottom. I want you to open up Google Docs. Mine's at the bottom there, so I can access it quickly. And we're going to maximize that. Then do a blank document for me. Now Google Docs has opened. We're now good to go. So I want you to come up to the top and select Tools for me. And you've got an option there that says Explore. Or use a shortcut key, Control, Alt, Shift, and I. But I'm going to select it. You see it appears on the right. Now it's asking you what you want to search for. So I'm just going to stick with Health. Let's do Health Department. And you see it gives me three tabs there. So it gives me images that's relevant to that topic. And if I click Drive, anything that I've already downloaded on my drive, it could be a PDF journal or Word document or anything. But you haven't found anything yet, so I want to stick with that. So the three little dots here. Choose your reference style there as well. But you are kind of limited, so bear that in mind. So I'm going to scroll down. And let's just say I want that source there. I'll select it. And I'll decide, looking through this, Actually, I think I might want to use this. Could be quite beneficial. So I could come down and I could highlight what I actually want to cite. So I'm just going to highlight. And that will do as an example. Control C. Go back to Google Docs. I'm going to paste it in there. Control V. Now I'm ready to cite my work. There's a source here. So now if I select site you see it's footnoted it and at the bottom it's got the reference at the bottom and again you're not limited because you can just type in anything at the top here and carry on searching and even bring up all results at the bottom here in google if i go back up to tools I've got an option here called citations as well you might want to cite something that you have with you physically or something that the software might be struggling in Google Docs with picking up the source information within that source that you've got. So if you come here, choose your reference style there and select Add Citation Source. Choose Source Type, which could be a book. Choose which source it is. So it could be a website, for example. And then you've got the options to fill stuff in. For example, first name, Tom. Middle initial, see I'm making this up, and then is it a corporation organization? You could add a contributor, then a title of it. So as you can see, you can add all your information in manually here. When you finish, you then select add citation source. Now if you come up here, select site, you've now got that in-text citation to cite your work there ready. So you could add them in manually, and when you've finished again at the end, you just select the option where it says insert references, and it will insert your reference list for you. But as I say, it's kind of limited in the sense that you can't really choose your reference style. Thanks for watching.